The Life and Sad Ending of Jerry Reed Jerry Reed was born on March 20, 1937, was born in Atlanta, Georgia, the second child of Robert and Cynthia Hubbard. Reed's parents separated four months after his birth, and he and his sister spent seven years in foster homes or orphanages. Reed was reunited with his mother and stepfather in 1944. Reed graduated from Akeith High School, an Atlanta City school. The Akeith building still exists today, but was sold to Georgia Tech and is now part of its campus. By high school, Reed was already writing and singing music, having picked up the guitar as a child. At age 18, he was signed by publisher and record producer Bill Lowry to cut his first record, If the Good Lord's Willing and the Creek Don't Rise. At Capitol Records, Reed was promoted as a new teenage sensation after recording his own rockabilly composition When I Found You in 1956. He recorded both country and rockabilly singles and received notice as a songwriter when label mate Gene Vincent covered his song Crazy Legs in 1958. By 1958, Bill Lowry signed Reed to his National Recording Corporation, and he recorded for NRC as both an artist and as a member of the staff band, which included other NRC artists Joe South and Ray Stevens. Reed married Priscilla Prissy Mitchell in 1959. They had two daughters, Sedina Ann Hubbard, born April 2, 1960, and Charlotte Elaine Hubbard, born October 19, 1970. Mitchell was a member of folk group The Appalachians, and was co-credited with Roy Drusky on the 1965 country number no. one Yes, Mr. Peters. For a lifetime of the pursuit of a music career, his story will be saved in this video. In 1959, Reed hit the Billboard bubbling under the Top 100, also known as the Roar and Cashbox Country chart with the single Soldier's Joy. After serving two years in the United States Army, Reed moved to Nashville in 1961 to continue his songwriting career, which had continued to gather steam while he was in the Army. Thanks to Brenda Lee's 1960 cover of his song That's All You Got To Do. He also became a popular session and tour guitarist. In 1962, he scored some success with two singles Goodnight Irene and Hully Gully Guitar, which found their way to Chet Atkins at RCA Victor, who produced Reed's 1965 If I Don't Live Up To It. Reed is particularly noted and respected by his musical contemporaries and the new generation alike for his unique and intricate picking technique, as seen in his composition The Claw. In July 1967, Reed had his best showing on the country charts with his self-pinned Guitar Man, which Elvis Presley soon covered. Reed's next single was Tupelo Mississippi Flash, a comic tribute to Presley. Recorded on September 1st, the song became his first top 20 hit, going to number 15 on the chart. Coincidentally, Presley came to Nashville to record nine days later on September 10, 1967, and one of the songs he became especially excited about was Guitar Man. Jarvis hired Reed to play on the session. I hit that intro, and face lit up and here we went. Then after he got through that, he cut my U.S. mail at the same session. I was toppin' cotton, son. Reed also played the guitar for Elvis Presley's Big Boss Man in 1967, recorded in the same session. On January 15 and 16, 1968, Reed worked on a second Presley session, during which he played guitar on a cover of Chuck Berry's Too Much Monkey Business, Stay Away, and Going Home, as well as another Reed composition, U.S. Mail. Presley also recorded two other Reed compositions, A Thing Called Love in May 1971 for his He Touched Me album, and Talk About the Good Times in December 1973, for a total of four. Johnny Cash would also release A Thing Called Love as a single in 1971, which would reach number two on the Billboard Country Singles chart for North America. It was also successful in Europe. It would become the title track for a studio album that he released the following spring. 
After releasing the 1970 crossover hit Amos Moses, a hybrid of rock, country, funk, and Cajun styles, which reached number 8 on the U.S. pop charts, Reed teamed with Atkins for the duet LP Me and Jerry, which earned the pair the Grammy Award for Best Country Instrumental Performance. During the 1970 television season, he was a regular on the Glen Campbell Good Time Hour, and in 1971, he issued his biggest hit, the chart topper When You're Hot, You're Hot, which is a story song, with the majority of the lyrics being talked out rather than sung. Aside from being a major crossover hit, When You're Hot, You're Hot earned Reed the Grammy Award for Best Country Vocal Performance, Male. When You're Hot, You're Hot was the title track of Reed's first solo album, reaching number 9 pop and number 6 on Billboard's Easy Listening charts. The singles from the album, Amos Moses and When You're Hot, You're Hot sold over 1 million copies, and were awarded gold discs by the RIAA. The album also features songs such as Reed's version of Ruby, Don't Take Your Love to Town and John D. Loudermilk's freewheeling song Big Daddy. Reed sustains three identities, Redneck Crazy, Fancy Picker, and Soap Idol. He's a great crazy, greater even on Amos Moses and Tupelo Mississippi Flash than on When You're Hot, You're Hot. A second collaboration with Atkins, Me and Chet, followed in 1972, as did a series of top 40 singles, which alternated between frenetic, straightforward country offerings and more pop-flavored, country politan material. A year later, he scored his second number one single with Lord, Mr. Ford from the album of the same name. Reed, according to Atkins, helped him work out the fingerpicking for one of Atkins' biggest hits, Yakety Sax. Reed, one of only five people to have the title of certified guitar player an award bestowed only to those who have completely mastered the guitar, was given this title by Chet Atkins. Reed was featured in animated form in a December 9, 1972, episode of Hanna-Barbera's The New Scooby-Doo Movies, The Phantom of the Country Music Hall. He sang and played the song Pretty Merry Sunlight. The song is played throughout the episode as Scooby and the gang search for Reed's missing guitar. In the mid-1970s, Reed's recording career began to take a back seat to his acting aspirations. In 1974, he co-starred with his close friend Burt Reynolds in the film W.W. and the Dixie Dance Kings. While he continued to record throughout the decade, his greatest visibility was as a motion picture star, almost always in tandem with headliner Reynolds. After 1976's Gator, Reed appeared in 1978's High Ballin and 1979's Hot Stuff. He also co-starred in all three of the Smokey and the Bandit films. The first, which premiered in 1977, landed Reed a number two hits with the soundtracks East Bound and Down. In 1977, Reed joined entrepreneur Larry Schmidt and other country music stars, such as Conway Twitty, Cal Smith, Larry Gatlin, and Richard Sturban, as investors in the Nashville Sounds, a minor league baseball team of the AA Southern League that began play in 1978. He made two guest appearances on the sitcom Alice, in 1978 and 1981. When asked who he considered the best actor, Burt Reynolds credited Reed. Reed also took a stab at hosting a TV variety show, filming two episodes of The Jerry Reed Show in 1976. Scottish rockers The Sensational Alex Harvey Band released a version of Amos Moses in 1976. In 1979, he released a record comprising both vocal and instrumental selections titled, appropriately enough, Half and Half. It was followed one year later by Jerry Reed Sings Jim Croce, a tribute to the late singer-songwriter. He also starred in a TV movie in that year entitled Concrete Cowboys. In January 1980, Reed began work on the Guitar Man re-recording being produced by Elvis producer Felton Jarvis. With a new hopped-up guitar line, and Elvis on lead vocals, 
Reed and the band gave the song an adrenaline punch that shot it straight to number one on the country charts. In 1982, Reed's career as a singles artist was revitalized by the chart-topping hit She Got the Goldmine, followed by The Bird, which peaked at number two. His last chart hit, I Am a Slave, appeared in 1983. That same year, he co-starred with Robin Williams and Walter Matthau in the Michael Ritchie comedy The Survivors. Reed Guest starred in the October 13, 1983, episode of Mama's Family, The Return of Leonard Oates, as Naomi Harper's ex-husband. He accepted the invitation to open for the British group Dexie's Midnight Runners in the U.S. in 1984, yet left the tour early to appear on the country music comedy TV show Hee Haw. After an unsuccessful 1986 LP, Lookin' at You, Reed focused on touring until 1992 when he and Atkins reunited for the album Sneakin' Around before he again returned to the road. In the meantime, Reed appeared in several interviews and commercial spots for Mid-South Wrestling. Reed had a role as a commander, Huey Pilot for Danny Glover's character in the 1988 movie Bat Asterisk 21 starring Gene Hackman. He also acted as executive producer and screenwriter on this film. Reed starred in the 1998 Adam Sandler film The Waterboy as Red Beaulieu, the movie's chief antagonist and the head coach for the University of Louisiana Cougars football team. He teamed up with country superstars Waylon Jennings, Mel Tillis, and Bobby Bear in the group Old Dogs. They recorded one album, in 1998, entitled Old Dogs, with songs written by Shel Silverstein. In 1998, the American rock band Primus covered the Reed song Amos Moses on the EP titled Rhinoplasty. In October 2004, Amos Moses was featured on the Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas soundtrack, playing on the fictional radio station K-Rose. In 2007, the UK band Alabama 3 covered his hit Amos Moses on their album M.O.R. In June 2005, American guitarist Eric Johnson released his album Bloom, which contained a track titled Tribute to Jerry Reed in commemoration of his works. Reed died in Nashville, Tennessee, on September 1, 2008, of complications from emphysema at the age of 71. Those are memories we will remember about you. And in this video thank you, thank you for your dedication to country music.